In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five options with uh, a globe or an atlas. Uh, this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here I have created this a sphere shape and I have put the world map here or you can call it as a globe or atlas, whatever you want. And then you can add some shadow effect and when I click, it will show you the first option. You can put the title, the option number and below you can add the icon and the detail text when I click. With a different color combination, it comes the second option, the third option, fourth option, and the fifth option. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you are using the older version, then it is not possible to do. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide. Go to Insert Shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape. Just click the oval shape and then go to the shape format. Make the height and width as 5 inches and then align center align middle shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to move this towards uh, somewhat left with the help of the left arrow key from the keyboard all right maybe this end you can just put it and then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle or you can choose this one also which is the rectangle top corner rounded which uh, you feel comfortable you can use it so let me just use this one which is the rectangle rounded corner draw a rounded corner rectangle and make sure that this is the orange point drag this inside so it becomes fully curved shape outline no outline shape field you can give some different color and send this to back and make sure that this is properly aligned from the top and the bottom you can see here and then if you want you can just move it and then you can just increase the size depending on your requirement so make sure that this is properly aligned to the top and the bottom now the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into five or six equal parts depending on my requirement this blue oval shape only the rounded corner rectangle for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much you can give the the height shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some different color all right so now if i want say five uh, cuts or five options i'm going to put this one so hold the control shift key add the second one the third one and the fourth one so you got one two three four five so it doesn't matter whether the space is big or uh, small we can just change that one with the help of the aligned option so let me just select this option one two three four then go to the align and distribute vertically so it gives equal spacing between this so now this four i have selected the other thing i'm going to hold the shift key select this rectangle and do not select the oval shape okay so now i have selected only this uh, the lines and the the rounded corner rectangle then from the shape format merge shape click on the fragment all right just click it and then i'm just going to delete this one you can see here like this i'm just selecting and deleting so you can see here i've got five equal parts now select these options and send this to back so it looks like this now the second option is i'm just going to select this one again press ctrl d to duplicate shape outline give some gray color outline shape fill make it no fill and i'm going to put it here exactly at the back side and then send this to back all right so we end up getting a shape like this now i'm going to select each option and give some different color combination so you can see here depending on your requirement you can just choose any uh, color of your choice so here i'm going to give some different color combinations all right like this and for this also you can right mouse click you can go to the format shape under fill you can give the gradient fill here and gradient fill i'm going to use only maybe two stops one stop i'm going to use some dark uh, gray color 
or blue color or whatever let me just go to more colors and i'm going to give maybe a dark blue and here i'm going to give some different color combination maybe this one so you can see here if you want more darker you can just change this one and direction also you can change it according to the direction you need here all right and then go to insert shapes select one oval shape draw one oval shape like this shape outline no outline shape fill make it white make it white and then i'm going to give uh, some glossy effect for this one so go to the effects soft edges increase the size so you can see here there's some glossy effect created for this oval shape so once this is done the next thing which i'm going to do is to insert the text here all right and before that one I have this map which I have used from my previous slides. I can just select this uh, particular uh, world map, bring this to front, all right, and put it here like this, all right. And this is editable. You can just change the color according to your requirement. So once this is done, select all the shapes and move it up. Why? Because at the bottom you are going to give more detailed text here. Okay, if you want you can make it more up with the help of the up arrow key from the keyboard. I can choose that one and then go to insert text box. You can put title option 1 or you can just put the title, sorry, control Z. I am just going to put headline maybe headline here and make it the font as white make it bold if you want you can increase the size and i'm going to put it here one press ctrl d to duplicate this will come the second ctrl d this is third ctrl d again this is fourth and this is fifth and again if you want to do some you know front and back you can move it a little bit like this you can see here some something which looks something different you can just make it and for this also you can do it all right if you want otherwise you can just leave it no problems with that one so this will give us somewhat uh, some nice effect and then here control d to duplicate and I'm going to make the font as black or blue whichever color you feel and make this as option 1 and increase the size so this is the option 1 press ctrl D to duplicate the option 2 3 4 and option 5 so let me just quickly change this one to 2 three four and five all right so you can see here we have completed the design and if you like to add some shadow effect you can add the shadow effect here for example go to in or i can just take this one only press ctrl d to duplicate i can increase the size you can see here and i can increase the transparency effect and I'm going to put it like this here and then send this to back you can see here like this effect you can create it some shadow effect some shining effect actually it's not a shadow effect it's a shining effect like this all right and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice and then you can add some detail option here so go to insert icons i'm going to choose five different icons for this so i'm just going to randomly select few icons maybe another one could be this bring this one here reduce the size to 0.5 and then i'm just going to put one one option here and later on we can change it the way we place it all right 
so like this you can just put this one and then below you can add some detailed text add detail text here center align and you can just put the detail text for each option and make sure that you need to align it properly before you're going to present this all right so this is the slide design and if you want to do some basic animations you can do some fly in animation uh, which is very easy to do